Hey guys, my name is Lily and welcome back to another episode of A Night in the Woods. If you haven't seen the last episode, you better get your buns on it because that was a really intense ending to the episode. Oh man. Super intense. And we have to check out our journal too. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Yeah, of course, of course. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Oh boy. We all know I'm so bad at band practice. Uh... There, I felt like there was something I had to do. I've already, I've already forgotten. Oh, I remember. Oh, that's right from yesterday. Oh boy. So if you don't want to watch the last episode, there was a kid who was like freaking kidnapped. Oh, I didn't see this bird here before. That's cool. Oh, you're just like the same every day? What is your bird existence like? Oh, there's a bookshelf here. Do, do, do we have any detective books out here? Of course, of course we do. Oh, hmm. There's like something written on the inside of this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Ah! <gasps> What is this like? What is this? Isn't that a safe combination? Oh, we already, we already went through that. Yeah, that is a safe combination. Oh, picture. Hmm. We're looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. Oh, uh, I mean, the way I see photographs is it's like, a snapshot of time, right? I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Uh, like, I don't really see as a photograph being like the official version of somebody, but I think maybe the way they have it in there, like up front and center in the hallway, I guess, I guess I could see that being like the official version. Which is so weird to think about, right? Because we grow and change so much. Oh man, life is weird. Oh wait, <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Thanks, granddad. Aha, uh -huh, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the- oh, it's the basement. How's that in the basement, though? Welp. Never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Smelders- sm smellers. Smel- Selmers. Where did I get smellers from? Everything feels bad. Oh yeah, this is from a while ago. Mysterious tooth. Huh. That's cool. I like that. The, like the fact that there's like a hidden thing, not that there's a tooth in a safe. Because that is a little strange thing to keep in a safe. Oh, hey hun. Yeah. Come say hello, why don't you? It sounds like she's in a good mood, which is I wasn't expecting that, for sure. Uh hey hun. It looks like it's a little after three now. <laughs> May is like not having any of it. Hey mom, you look really tired. So do you. I also have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Even her mouth is kind of turned up in like this, ugh, I don't give a rat's ass kind of look, I love it. Hey hon, yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff, I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. 
I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed, too. I saw some weird shit. Oh my gosh. I saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Um. That's such a nice way of, like, patching things up. So what are we- what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay... Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like, they like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. Oh, they're underwater with the house. Dude, that sucks. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. Oh, wow. That is very stressful to be in. Wow. What you reading? That's a book of unsolvable murders. Do they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Yeah. Alright, there's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there is- I don't know if there is one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? You should- Yeah, honestly, sure. Let's- let's keep it a little- because they're like patching things up, right? Like, I don't want her to be so snarky with her mom. Uh, you should have been a detective. Yeah, I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. Um, What kind of scar does the dead guy have? A straight line a few inches across hidden under the hair. Hmm. Like with a blunt object? Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull, that's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the guy's head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's why he has blood on one hand. Yup, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. You could open up a detective agency. Could open up a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm going to get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, inspector mom. Oh my gosh. Mom. Oh, is that the dead guy? <laughs> and then dad with the meat. I didn't see that last time. That's cute. Dad looks older. <gasps> Could we have chosen fish? Would fish have been better for dinner with B's parent or dinner with B's dad? I don't know. Oh, it's the gorgeous rainy day again. It's construct construction is still going. <sighs> construction is always going to be going. Okay, so we have to find B. We have to find Gregory. I'm actually surprised that Selmers is always out here, even in the rain. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird, went to Harfest, saw some messed up shit that I think was real, then had a really bad nightmare. Night- what? Did she? It's been a couple days since I've played, so I don't even remember. Uh, cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Always. Autumn wins, autumn sins. Okay. 
Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Grab at a gas station, then blowing it up in November. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, yeah, Selma? Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. I'm bigger than you. We gotta be. We should be covered. You too. Sel- But- I mean, gender doesn't matter, but we've been calling this person Selmers. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. We've been calling this person Selmers. Is their name actually Selma? And then Selmers is a nickname? The Mrs. Vanished- Varnished. The Mrs. Varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Sorry, sir. But I want to see your puppy. You said you had a dog that always, like, pooped nervously. Get them! <laughs> I wish they could actually catch those squirrels. I don't know what I would do with them, but it would be pretty funny. And I see that all the Halloween stuff is pretty much gone, right? Because it's already November! Oh, the fishing person isn't here. Is Miss- Yes, Miss Rosa's here! Hello! Oh, hey, Miss Rosa! Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as I expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah! Possum Springs is built on the backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay people in real money. Oh. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered? His dad experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car and now they met your grandfather. A real bastard that boss, god forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk. Or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts the guts of all the bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere and he slashes the boss's tires. Oh, wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole? <gasps> this is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley, past the, uh, the A-OK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lots nowadays. The stars, fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. <gasps> oh, okay, wait. When was this? <laughs> a very long time ago. Was he... <laughs> so what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? No. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You might find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass the story along to you. There was one night one thing he did, and a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. Wow, that's deep. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Barowski. Damn! I wish that I knew people who knew my grandparents. But, uh, I don't. Because my grandparents didn't come from a small town like this. That's so cool, though. I love that. And then also what Miss Rosa said about, like, what you do with the details 
and the secrets that I tell you, that's up for you to decide. That's your own story now. That is beautiful. Like, oh my god, I love stuff like this. I love games like this that kind of, like, teach you and show you new perspectives, you know? Uh, don't get me wrong, I love other types of games too. Oh, I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do at least. Mm -hmm. That's because you're a good person. Oh, conf <laughs> he's talking about food. She's talking about conflict, I guess. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamt I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses or I'd get lost. That's sad. It weren't a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up, city council. Yep. About a Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Wow. So, I know that she wanted to give him a place to live. I think she said either the basement or the old library. And I think that the council members don't like that idea. Which, you know, I mean... Makes sense, but it's very sad. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Let's see if Mom is in, actually. Uh, but I was saying before, like, I like also the mainstream games where you do stuff. And, but games like these also really stick with me for much longer than other games, I feel. I don't know. It's maybe just me. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, hey, heathen daughter. <laughs> Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does it too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tricked. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda, whatever. Alright, I'm out! See you later, sweetie. Oh, I'm so glad that they made up. That was, like, that last episode was really stressful when they were, like, fighting and stuff like that, and I hated it so much. Oh, man, that was rough. Ah, well, let's keep going. We still have our best friends that we gotta run into and find. I'm still laughing about this fat pocket pawn. So funny. Oh! So today's my last day. Oh, she was gray. Okay. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in and we can go on an outing. And you will see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee, smoking, just coffee and smoking. Ah, uh, so I'm assuming that she got the job at Hampiantha, right? Okay, let's, let, hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, well, oh my gosh, I'm so conflicted. Okay, let's go all the way to the edge of town and see what's going on over there, I guess. And then we'll come back for B. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted, ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. The, yeah, the, I mean, it does sound awesome to a degree. But when I think of no internet, I get really sad. Hey, Angus. You up for brand practice in a bit? I guess. Word night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Okay. 
So I suppose that this- whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Oh yeah, because it's all boarded up now, huh? Huh. Um, so I guess tonight ends in band practice either way. I'm not entirely sure. We'll go visit everybody first and say it's wet again and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. <laughs> I mean, I guess? Hey, dude. What's up, dude? Ugh. Ugh. Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you about it at bad practice. Cool. What you up to? Uh, just saying hello. Hello. Okay, so we'll go talk to B and um, see what she wants to do. And we'll hang out with her because this is supposed to be a B run. A B run, a B run. Oh! Hey, dude. Hey, you? Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fix a kitchen in there? Barely. What are you doing here? Girl, man, and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yeah. That's rough. I don't know that cat's name, but I'm wondering if that might be Creek? That really creep- oh. <gasps> hey. What's up, kid? <laughs> you smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah? Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop? You'll never have catch me half kappa? <laughs> Even I'm laughing at that. That was funny. I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Don't know. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask, I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him all out there all by himself. Aw, oh, Casey's tough, he'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Mopsy see at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching this play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah, not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash, crossover, hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? Da 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 da! Totally. What? You know one time a guy followed me home? Like a guy from the tracks. That's really creepy. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But I didn't want to look right at him. <laughs> ah! I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing up just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah! Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ugh. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. What is happening in this town? Like, it was so cute and adorable and now like... Oh, hey. What, are you... what were you doing out here last night? Yeah, no, let's be serious. I saw someone kidnap someone like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing persons report. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Well, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. 
So? So unless somebody could- so unless someone could jump this thing, it's like harrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? I- yeah, I understand where she's coming from for sure. Ugh. They could have gone around the fence? I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them and then to be miraculously on the other side of the hill? Ugh. I was running around half the night getting after teenage bullshit and people scared of clotheslines and noises. Ugh. You... You... Ugh. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry we're talking about a ghost now. It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No, yes. I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Uh, you at least to check the woods. May, me and Dan and McConnell were up here. We're up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple of teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That it is it. <gasps> oh my gosh, the cop always dies. Oh no, I hope that she doesn't actually die. Is this a game where it's like cool and comfy and stuff like that and then like halfway down the middle it does like a 180 and then everybody's dying and screaming? Oh, that would be tragic. Okay, but we're gonna go and talk to B and see what she has to say and then I guess we'll go to band practice? Got nothing better to do, I suppose. Hey, BB. Hey, B. Hey. Thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got like really weird and bad after. Well, so. Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice today. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snap Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves whenever he wants. Great plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still. Whoa. Oh. Okay, so I guess we gotta go talk to Greg. And we're back. Hey. What's up to? We gonna head out to band practice. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Oh, whoops, wrong, wrong way. What's up, dude? Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes up to the roof. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, <laughs> ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh boy, good luck to me. Oh my gosh.
I think if I had this, like, if I had my old guitar controller, but like rock band, this would be a lot easier, but I am not so good at the keyboard in this. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my gosh, why? Oh no, this is a disaster. <laughs> I haven't even pulled it together at the end. It's terrible. Oh, I didn't even get the last one! Oh man, that was so bad. So bad. Wow, mate, that was pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. I, I literally do not know this song. Well, so fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I sure my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid. Also, and also, I think it was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something about it because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. You okay, dude? No, I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure it out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So, we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here? Like, from a source we can trust. Such as? Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? <laughs> what? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check out the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file going back a century. Wow. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghost, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties! That's the spirit. The library. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, that it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working, things are great. Now it's just like one of those graffiti murals after someone gets hit or shot by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Ooh. Dead pumpkin head guy, he's dead. Well, no, we're dead because it was that bad. I'm pretty sure I only hit like two of <laughs> those notes. Hey, lady. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfeast. Microfeast. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. It's a little night. Yep. Yeah. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Who's Larry? This book is very red. I wish that we could pick it up, but I guess not. Uh, looks like we gotta take the elevator. I think it's pretty cool that, like, uh, they believe her and they don't think that she's crazy. And I think the reason why we're doing the like the library and B stuff is because we've been focused more on B. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Tarr. Born in 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. 
experience mining construction while drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gotta join my you gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? I think that might be No. Because he said his name is Bruce. But it sounded like the kind of stuff that he has done before. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five friggin' years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does really look hateable. It was like... You were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around 24-7. Yelling about, like, sharing and not littering and paying taxes. Well, that's an important uh, skill. I was five. I'm 20 now and I still can pay taxes. Charity Parity goes to a state infrastructure budget meeting. Ugh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Parity. Oh, no. Auster austerity. There we go. Charity Parity. Oh, no. Austerity. What's that? reason the two bridges in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't like go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. I'm worried it's gonna give us that whole spiel all over again. Uh, where do we gotta go though? We have to go and look at... We have to go to the third floor, right? Is that where... Where are we? B, help me. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm so tired. Oh! Maybe we can go up again. Why did we get up here? Why didn't we go straight all the way up? I'm not silly. Okay, well we gotta be on the third floor. Oh wow, it's just up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Alright, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, I think that's the thing we gotta use. I like how it's all glowing and stuff. Alright, there she is. Cool. So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise has brought you to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to at least do a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. Ugh. Aww, we friends, bitch, bitch. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Well, if I'm steering. Ew. Jeez, May. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. I already see ghost stuff. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this Past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded I can't the thing is in the way. 
the wooden overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having left from the great height, leaving the exact number of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. What? Ew, that's gross. I would like- we would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. Ugh. Um... Oh, dang. Okay, um... Let's- let's keep looking. Tale of Teeth... I think... Oh, po this is the Possum Massacre. I want to read this one too. Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine strike today. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown and the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. After a few moments, the smoke after a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food out to their father and uncle who who was on strike when the shooting broke out. The photog oh, the photograph, thank goodness there's no photograph here, um, of the two children aged seven and nine who were shot in cold blood has circulated far outside our little county. The Eunice Act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began 45 days since the start of the strike. The bosses have currently agreed to comply to the current safety standards and to honor the demands of the miners. Dang! Another tragedy to mine. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, there's the strike. Local. Oh. The miner that died. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that one too. How far? Okay. I was like, how far can we go? But not. Oh. Oh, it's all on a groundhog. Okay, so I think that we should look at this one too. The local ghost of Little Joe at it again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any sense of survey. Little Joe reportedly well that's wow, reportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spooks spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to be getting seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow Country. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, such as Possum Springs and such. Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombs that filled the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up in patrol air in the area. So be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Can we... Oh, look! Scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, where is that other one? Oh, it was here? This one. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah. That's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? No? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. 
That's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I try to inv oh, well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Is there more then? This sounds really crazy. Um, uh, I don't see anything about ghosts in there, though. Ah, uh, Tale of Teeth, Bad Bosses, The Strike, Ah, uh, Possum Massacre, Events. Spe we already saw that one. Tragedy. that one. Uh-huh. Conquer Springs. <gasps> oh, this is it. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Shri Geist House into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Nusomi has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'll be there after hours doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was nobody, nobody, never nobody there, said Nusomi. Gosh, I have no idea. Trying to get this map room operational for the children, all the while I'm looking over my shoulder to expect to see God knows what. Mr. Nusome has previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff are present in the building, but that has proved to be too terrifying. Wow. I didn't even go to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor, and then only I go to the office. I know there's a lot from- I say I'm seeing little Joe or something, but- they can all go spit. Little Joe for the uninitiated was a local ghost, uh, a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Pops and Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Nusome's crimes at the time. Claims at the time, sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical Society. History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think that was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something? Railroad? Mine? Steel mill? Something like that? An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, it's always checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's go. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Uh, yeah, I'm... That's a lot of reading. I'm done. <laughs> three clues. We got three leads. You are a regular detective. May Marowski, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right. Let's go. So, we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. Just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like... And I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> I love the dialogue between everybody in this. It's so... Oh. Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her... I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. 
school district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. There you go. Thank you for all for coming to the second meeting of Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? I do, actually. Tonight we have a new poems from myself and Fishman Jones. Oh, okay, so that's the person who's doing the fishing. Fisherman Jones. And Selma Ann Forrester. Oh, okay, so it is uh, Selma. Okay, I will start us off with one of my own. Um, she's from some big city, right? Yeah. Could she end up here? Who knows? Mm-hmm. Letter to my worst student, to my worst student, the subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you <laughs> key my car? I know. It was you. Brian. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Quelsey! Ellie, she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems taken away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know the paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Oh, that was so cute! Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? <laughs> that's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Uh, <laughs> Dude is really worried about what fish think. The tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Silmer Ann Forrester. Yeah, Silmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny dorky short poems. I'm out for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. Ahem. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations, more than my whole world has ever world where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs, boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, there in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicone city to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh, she rhymed entrepreneur. I didn't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? Yeah, that's really intense for her. No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Silmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smeller. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so. Found out anything about your ghost? Yeah! Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. 
Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost? Like, filled with dread and shit? I'm terrified! Okay. So, it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on the work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. <laughs> is there an illegal one? Sure is, the historical society. You know you don't, like, have to break in. The people there get paid to show it to you. <laughs> He's not so excited anymore. Anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. <gasps> I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in the scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to actually, like, get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. Ah, we're home. We are home. Let's check out the diary. It's Summers. A, a poet, a good poet, thought if I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Hey, daddy -o. Okay, no mom. Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The ugh. Yippers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We are. Just a bump. You two, always two alike, I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine, we're cool. So, we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20, I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. I, I guess we don't have any TV to watch tonight. That's all sad. Ugh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, now the birdie's covered. I guess this is her parents' room, though? Hmm. And we get the attic. Alright, let's check our laptop. Oh! Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to- Okay. I, that's Angus. I was like, who is that? It's Angus. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight shot up to jump. Possum jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Night, sir. I <laughs> tipped that. <laughs> Yo, I looked at the historical society on the internet. It's really old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house and then someone puts a pool in where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pee scary. I'm spooked. I'm gonna bed. No, like seriously, like I've heard ghost stories where like somebody has a room that they want renovated or something like that and then they rip down a wall and then they get haunted or something. I don't know. I've heard stories. Uh, hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm gonna be there anyway, and it's right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you're so incredibly welcome, and also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, what did... Did you fall asleep? Oh, <laughs> well... I wonder if she did. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me for this incredibly long episode. If you liked this, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and put them down below in the comment section for me. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you get a notification when the next video comes out. But until next time, I'll see you later!
Bye.